Ash dieback first found in mainland Europe, where it's been quite devastating to ash forests. Uh, up to 90% of ash uh, woodland destroyed or devastated in uh, countries such as Denmark. Um, it's made its way over here, we believe, although we're not sure, on soil um, and saplings on the roots that have been brought over and planted in this country. At the moment it seems to be located in certain areas such as East Anglia, including one of our woodland trust sites called Pound Farm. Um, but we are monitoring and looking for other signs of ash dieback throughout the country at the moment and we're asking people to keep an eye out and let us know. And these are some of the things to look out for. Three things you need to look for, or three things you can look for when looking for ash dieback on, on the ash trees in this country at the moment. One is lesions. Most obvious, sort of wet, almost bleeding type lesions you might see on the stems, uh, perhaps around some of the shoots coming around off the sides. Um, if they're slightly older, they'll look like scar tissue coming down, almost like a lozenge shape coming down. Another thing you look for is the leaves dying back. Obviously this time of year they're dying back anyway, but if it's spring, summertime, they'll be curling up and dying back and the main shoot would also be dying back and going brown along the end all the way back to the main, main area. Um, and the third thing is die back generally from the crown. So as it's coming back from the main stem you'll see the leaves dying, uh, the leaves dying back falling away from, from the main stem uh, and it'll look like just the uh, skeletal branches sticking out with no leaves left on them as they've fallen off. So if you do think you found ash dieback or seen symptoms of ash dieback in your local woodlands, your gardens, your local area, local community, please contact the Forestry Commission. You can go on their website where you can look at uh, examples of the symptoms to look for and you can also contact them directly with information about where you think you found the symptoms.